Oh, hey guys, I want to talk to you about Frederick Bastia. He is a uh, French uh, economist, author of the early mid 1800s. He served in their national, national legislature, followed in the footsteps of Adam Smith, and contributes a lot to modern free market economics. Um, one of the things he discussed is how that uh, con artists always have an uh, advantage um, and any discussion of economics or finance because they can throw an emotionally charged lie out there in 30 seconds that would take 10, 15 minutes of boring lecture to prove wrong. Uh, and then there's the notion of opportunity cost, which is uh, pretty basic economics. You would find it Econ 101, but you don't find it as much as you should in politics. Uh, when we talk about the benefit of a public policy or any kind of a business investment, we can't just take into consideration our return and leave it at that. You have to consider what you gave up. What you else could you have invested the money on and what kind of return would you have got out, out, of, out of that? Uh, he demonstrated this by telling the parable of the broken window, which is a, that a little boy goes and he throws a rock through a shopkeeper's window and the shopkeeper comes out and he's very upset, but the townspeople said, think of all the jobs you've created by replacing this window. You've helped the economy. That's a fallacy because the shopkeeper is spending, say, $500 of his money to replace something that he already had when he could have used that $500 to invest in his business and become more productive. Um, it's pretty simple, but it gets missed so much. Uh, how does this relate to Clarksburg, of course? I'm glad you asked. One, our demolition program. It's probably cost us, I don't know, 8 to $10 million in today's terms over the course of the last 20 years. What could we have invested that money in? The, almost anything that we invested in would have gotten more than we got, which is a bunch of hundreds of overgrown lots. Uh, another issue is we, we hear that we shouldn't invest in infrastructure because what we have is currently getting taken care of. First of all, it's not true. It's not getting taken care of. And, and second of all, the cost of an emergency repair is always greater than the cost of maintenance. So in the long term, we're losing an incredible amount of money. Uh, the opportunity costs that uh, we're, we're, we're taking on by having to do constant emergency repairs is just insane. Um, one sinkhole can eat up a, a, a small business grant or more. Um, have a good day. I'll holler at you later.